Starved out around here, so man. These people are gonna be starved out around here, so man. Because the money's gonna dry up. Read. And lame it for her. They're gonna cry, man, because they gonna know it's over with. We got next. Read. When they shall see the smoke of her burn. That her represents America. That's Read. Right. You ain't gonna have time to say, God, we're gonna just drop dead. That's right. What about the, like, the chip that the government already got? Ain't no such thing as no chip. That's right. Ain't no such thing as no chip. Ain't no such thing as no chip. Doctors, neuroscientists, and engineers from Battelle were able to implement cutting edge technology by installing a chip directly into Ian's brain. Installing a chip directly into Ian's brain. Dr. Ali Reze installed the chip in the area of the brain that controls the movement of the hand. Engineers at Battelle develop software, algorithms, and a sleeve, which transmits thoughts and neurons from the brain. Let me tell you something. A lot of them cats out there pushing that chip shit. You have to understand how much data goes in the chip. You ever thought about that? You, you know anything about computers? Yeah, they say everything in being that chip. How can everything put everything in there? What about your medical records? Yeah, what about your financials? Yeah. What about the land that you own? That's right. You, how much data does a chip hold? See, that's what you got to understand. You got, you got to understand. A terabyte won't fit in there. I'm just saying, in, in layman's term, about a computer. Ain't no such thing as no chip. Ain't no such thing as no. Chip. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Baruch Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Allah, requirement that is peace to the elect. I want to touch on a response video um, coming off the brother um, Salaki. I don't know you, know your name, brother. GMS Vegas sit downs. I had it briefly, but it slips slips my mind. But the brother um, he did a beautiful video on it. The head of one body, Yahusha, shows is ignorant to the RFID chip technology. Now I want to go a little bit deeper into it. He was, he, he was hitting the points about um, uh, 5G technology and how things will advance, and whatever is has come out, they have um, they have it before it hits us, before we get it, obviously. But um, before I get started, I just want to say you can't trust a wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay, these guys wear these flashy garments and these highlighted garments. All to is a, a form of a mesmerization to enchant you, okay? As if we're in the kingdom or something. Anyway, um, I just want to touch on the technology a little bit. Um, when you're dealing with, he says something about the ran, uh, um, it's like he says something about uh, the chip. Uh, how can you put a, a terabyte on a chip? Well, it's simple. A terabyte wouldn't go on a chip, okay? Now, I know about computers. I've built some. I mess around with them. Not my first profession, but I know how to do them, okay? And when you're dealing with, a, um, when you're dealing with computers, you're dealing with servers, you're dealing with a CPU, you even deal with a RAM, okay? A random access memory, you know, that little card that slides in your motherboard, and what it does is it works with the CPU, it's randomly taking memory and sending memory. Okay, this is the same deal when you're dealing with a chip. Your your chip and your credit card don't hold a, t a, a terabyte either. Okay, your, your chip on your credit card holds a, a small amount of information, but that information is accessed. Okay, uh, through a server. Okay, so when you swipe your card in the server. The same deal happens. It goes in uh, to a, a program system, and it accesses your money out of your account, and it sends. And I'm not trying to make a whole lesson on that, but just to prove to the point that your your the chip is going to be nothing more than like your chip in your credit card, okay? Which will, as the brother was saying, it will store more information, okay? 
They only put uh, what they needed to put in your card so you can transfer money back and forth. Now, with this chip, it'll be like your driver's license. It'll be your medical records. Your, when you swipe it, it'll automatically go into a server, and it will pull out your information. Now, the central processing unit is what they use to take and hold the information. That's why they got, um, I can't remember, uh, they got uh, computers called petabytes or something of that nature that holds billions of information, okay? So they got all the information of everybody and what you do and everything else. And to say that a chip won't work in your hand is ridiculous, okay? It's working on a card. The only difference is it will be put in your hand. Yeah, but this is these guys, man. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. Matthew 7 and 15. I just want to do this short video. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. When he when he heard the guy bring up the chip, the only thing come to these guys' mind, like him and Zabak, is the uh, great millstone they can't be right. Apostle Tahar is gone off because they have pride. They just can't accept uh, and, and I've always said, why wouldn't it be something that you would include in the, uh, in the prophecy? These guys are just doing away with it as is, if, if it's not prophecy. Uh, and that is ridiculous, man. That is ridiculous. See, these guys, they want you uh, to follow them. You know, that's what these groups are after. These groups are after, a lot of these Israelite groups are just after the numbers. They just want everybody to follow them. At Great Millstone, we talk about the hundred uh, the 100% truth, but we also talk about the elect, okay? We don't need uh, 100,000 members, man, you know? If, if somebody joins, then they join, you know? Because it's really about the body. And these guys are calling themselves one body. Anybody who tries to cut out prophecy is definitely not men of, men of the Lord, man. There's no way they're men of the Lord. And I can't understand why anybody would think about a way to discredit the RFID being a chip. And and the only thing I could come up with is they're not they're not men of the Lord. They almost fear Esau instead of the Lord. Okay? His man clearly said that people will get starved out. Okay? How's that gonna happen, man? When that dollar crash, what's the next currency? Esau could tell him, Nicholas, I think it was Nicholas Rockefeller and all this, uh, you know, these Edomites is telling you what the deal is. Right in your face. But they just got to find a way to uh, turn away from the truth. They can't understand that a, a simple chip can do so much. And a simple chip has been doing so much. You got chips in every damn thing. And nobody's crying about if it holds a terabyte or a gigabyte. Half the damn population don't care. The only thing they care about is uh, how much information it holds. If they're trying to store all the music and all the information on a uh, on a on their hard drive, okay? See, a lot of people look at the computer and they'll just go buy a big computer and they think that's a computer, okay? That's just the the, the shell that holds the computer. Then you have what you call a hard drive that stores all your information. The hard drive is not the chip. Okay? <laughs> but these guys lack understanding. Okay? They lack understanding. They can't look, look beyond the possibility in a realm of technology as the other brother was bringing out. You know, 5G technology. And they're going to come out with even... They got more technology than what you think. You think they're going to they let you know? They're going to slowly bring that in, okay? And when they crash that dollar, what this guy is saying is take that chip. That's all it's saying. This guy is saying, you know what? Because anytime you say you try to disprove it and say it's not the chip, what you're saying is it's okay to take it. Nothing, nowhere in the argument, and I'm hearing him say, don't take this thing, man. This is the, you know, this is something that you shouldn't do, okay? And some people will say, well, don't take it. It's something you could, you shouldn't do, but it's not the mark of the beast. But by you saying it's not the mark of the beast, it's not putting uh, the fear of the Lord in people, man. You know, this is just utterly hypocrisy. I just wanted to uh, 
I just wanted to touch on that uh, real quick. Uh, let me get Matthew uh, 24. You know, it's crazy, man. You know, I, uh, Matthew 24 and 11. I literally just saw this, and I just said, well, um, the brother did something on it, and, you know, I wanted to do a short, you know, take on it. Okay. All right, this is Matthew 24 and 11. Okay, it says, And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Okay? Now, what's crazy about these scriptures, somebody will claim they have the truth, and they will make it seem like it's us. Okay? Like we're trying to add something to the scriptures. Now, the way I see it, when you see more of things like this happening, you're, you're supposed to study it and make sure to, it to be true. But then when you start taking things away from the Bible, you know, now you're causing confusion, okay? So, I mean, it's just clear that a lot of people are meant to take the chip. This only proves that a lot of people are waking up to be Israelites just to be destroyed, okay? Many are going to be called, but few are only going to be chosen. The Lord is using the two-thirds as a pawn for the elect. You know, when you play chess, you send the pawns up the middle. You know, that's all they are. They're pawns for the elect. You know, that's it. Because all that matters is the elect at the end of the day. These guys are trying to wake up every black man in the neighborhood. Every black man with skin tone like them in the neighborhood. They like a uh, um, one of those gangs, the black gorilla family, the BGFs. Although they're not, they are teaching people we're Israelites. You know, but they on this this thing of uh, of, you know, everybody's got to be um, a, a so-called black man from the hood because that's what he says. We go to the hoods. What about y'all? This is the tough guy. OK, we're going to see how tough you are when that chip comes out, man. You know, and the lies and hypocrisy that you're spilling, spewing to the people. That's all I have on that. Shalom.